Archangel Michael protection messages. You know, Archangel Michael is what I call one of the big guns. When shit hits the fan and I need some serious help, he is my go-to. Archangel Michael's a very much a leader of all angelic forms. And he is an angel that can literally come to the party when called. I send him to my loved ones when I know they need help. I ask him for protection when I know I need it. And I rely on him to the point where if I ask, I know he'll show up and I can feel his, his closeness. Have you called Michael in ever? Um, because if you haven't, I invite you to, but today I'm tuning into him because he has uh, messages for you, protection messages. So take a moment and firstly, like, subscribe and all those algorithm things, but take a moment and have a look at Archangel 1, 2, or 3 and see which Michael calls you in and really trust yourself. Really, you know, take the moment to close your eyes and and be open to receiving a message that you need at the moment from him. And let's get started. Angel Michael number one. Oh, I threw it straight away. Okay. The, these are my deck. This, this is my deck. Um, they're the Archangel, the Doreen Virtue Archangel Michael deck. And look how old they are. I've had them like forever. The cards look like, and I think they have been chewed by my kids when they were toddlers. <laughs> and the card that actually got thrown out to you today is have confidence. So I know Archangel Michael is helping you personally uh, through a tough time at the moment that might be something that you're not comfortable doing, whether it be a conversation, whether it be uh, something with work, whether it be uh, in a relationship or, or something like that. Now, straight away, the card that I get has been chewed. Like, well, there's a bite out of it, literally. Um, and today's the first day that I'm actually doing my readings here with my dog in the room. Now, I... <laughs> never work with dogs, but all of a sudden I feel like I'm working with dogs and children because in this card, come here, I'll show you my dog. Come here, up, what are you doing? Up here, up, up, come here. No, oh, she doesn't know how to do this. Okay, up, up, come say hello, come say hello. Okay, big cuddles, big cuddles. Oh, <coughs> stop, all right, enough. <laughs> so this is Jessie. Jessie, come here, turn around. No, she's not, okay, all right, sit down. Sit, sit. It's okay. Just relax. Shh. So straight away I know that there's, um, what's the word, you know? I'm feeling almost confused all of a sudden now that I've let her come into my energy. And plus this card has literally been eaten by a child. So there's outside influences at the moment for you that are really taking your mind off your focus. Now, remember that with pets, there's unconditional love. With children, there's unconditional love. And they will demand your attention. So if it's not pets and children at the moment, I know that there's um, something that's demanding your attention to take you off what feels like track. 
Now, if you have young children or if you have needy pets or if you have uh, situations that are calling your attention that feels frustrating and taking you off your path, the message here is to realise that they are part of your path. And I feel like there's aspects to whatever's taking your attention off where you want to go that is tripping you up, tripping you up. So the card here from Archangel Michael says, have confidence. And I'll read it to you. It says, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. So there's an aspect up until now of feeling disconnected and taken away from your true purpose so whether you've been confused as to where you're going or just literally pulled in directions that you didn't uh feel was the best time spent so people are, are needing you for different things at the moment um and it's becoming quite frustrating so know that they're part of this. Know that this is not something that's taking you off path. It's actually helping you build resilience. It's helping you build skill set so that you don't have to be so rigid. It's more like time to go with the flow. Time to know that, oh, you know, it, it's time to know that you're literally enough. And to let go of the outcome that you're expecting. It's great to put it out there that what you want, but know that it will eventuate the way it needs to be. Because when you force things, you'll end up, look, you'll get the end result, but you'll miss the journey. And when you realize that you're equipped and that you're enough, and you have confidence in yourself, you're gonna let yourself have a bit of fun along the way because you're doing a lot for others. I see that, I can feel that. But you're not doing it out of the goodness of your heart, you're doing it out of duty, feeling obliged. And I'm not saying you're a bad person. That's not what this is. This is more about when you do it fully from your heart space, you're going to actually realize that it's part of your journey. And when you get to that reward, that end prize, that thing that you've got, I know you're working towards something. I can feel it. I can feel that you're, you've got, whether it be a deadline or a goal or, or a vision or whatever it might be, and when you realise that all this is part of it, it's all part of it. It's not just something that is trying to get you off track. You change your perspective and you realise that you are enough. It will help you build that drive and that passion and that confidence that is within you. I can feel it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's bloody awesome. But there's been an aspect to you feeling like everything's up against you. It's not working out how it's meant to be. So I feel like a little bit of pressure, you know, across here. So whether you've been getting a heavy head or too many thoughts about that it's not going quick enough or it's not, you know, coming to fruition. Well, Archangel Michael's here to say you called, I answered. And I'm going to help you realise that along the way, Things will be thrown at you. Things won't go the way you thought they would. But it's all part of it. It's all part of it. I want to get another message from him here. And it says, your home is protected by angels. Which is interesting because if we go back to the animals and the kids, usually they're at home, right? And if this is for, and this is a general reading, so take what resonates. But those of you that have got dependents, let's just say dependents, um, there may very well be a situation that you're feeling a little bit disconnected 
toward like whether there be maybe for some of you um you know s some children that are having a hard time at the moment um potentially you know um shush making too much noise so this is going she's she's making too much noise so she's taking me off purpose and i'm getting frustrated <laughs> but maybe that's part of it maybe there's lots of noise going on around you and maybe that's part of it and we've got to just keep moving forward so if there is dependents around you that are having a hard time at the moment, call in Archangel Michael to help you be okay with it. As in that they may very well go other places to get advice that may not necessarily be you, but as long as they're going somewhere to get it, right? For instance, when I had my little kids and they were like coming home from childcare, I remember that they would come home with a new skill or a talent or a new word or something and I'd go, oh my gosh, why didn't I teach you that? And it took me a while to realise as long as they learn, it takes a village. I don't need to be the one that teaches them everything because I don't know everything. I want them to learn from different people. I want them to see different things. I want them to have that experience. I don't want to pull them back. I don't want to hold them too close. And you see, when we get a message from Archangel Michael saying that our home is protected by angels, I know you already know this, but there's a part of you that's doubting this. So own it because it's really important that you know this. And see, a lot of, like, I'm also an EFT practitioner, so when we do, you know, the tapping process to dissolve blocks or traumas or whatever it might be, and see, I might have a parent come to me and say, can you please help my child because they're going through maybe some bullying or anxiety or, or whatever it might be. And I'll always start with the parent and I'll say, well, can we please work on how you feel about it first? Because when we dissolve the need to take responsibility or the need to blame ourselves or the need of helplessness or fear or whatever it might be in the parent, it actually helps the child. And there's been many times where I actually haven't even needed to see that child because situations change, energy changes, because us as parents is very, very important, the energy that we have. Now, if you're not a parent, or if this is not resonating with you in any shape or form, know that this is still your message. This is about other people. Because when things happen around you, there's an aspect of you feeling triggered about that or finding a way to blame yourself or taking responsibility or whatever that might be. And when you address the, how you feel about it and take away the need of you punishing yourself or the need of you, um, you know, beating yourself up or taking responsibility where you don't need to or whatever that might look like. When you take away that, you're going to be able to dull down the energy around it and the urgency and the desperation and then you'll be able to then breathe into it and realise that a lot of your expectations around it had a lot to do with the outcome. So once you take away all that, shift away your energy you'll find that things change, they shift. But the main theme was around dependence. So there's something around you taking responsibility for others when it's not necessarily your job. We want to empower, not enable people around us. We don't want to blame ourselves for other people's actions. So there's a bit of that going on. And the Archangel Michael wants to come in and say, I am here, I am protecting you. I am giving you the confidence to do whatever needs to be done, to say whatever needs to be said, but to truly trust that you are enough. And that is your message for Archangel Michael, number one. Okay, Archangel number two. Oh, this one just makes me want to take a big sigh of relief, a big sigh of relief because it's like you've already called in your big guns. It's all, It's already done. So whatever this reading is, I feel like it's already been rectified. Things have already fallen in place. So let's see what your message is from Archangel Michael today. But very much in the energy, I feel like this is past. It's already done. And the message is admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Let's read the message on this card. It says, I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can lovingly on it, so I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. 
So I know that this is already done. I know that you have owned up to something. I know that you have realised the part you played. You've taken responsibility. You've um, really, you've stepped up. You've stepped up, haven't you? So again, being a general reading, take what resonates. But for some of you here, it's like you've really, you know, you, you might be in a relationship that has not been um, the best recently, but you can understand the part you played and you've addressed that. So you're not doing the whole blame thing. You're certainly speaking. You're certainly saying what it is that you're wanting to shift. You're certainly saying what it is that you no longer want and the changes you want to make, but you're also owning your part you played, which is really brave. And Archangel Michael wants to let you know that he sees you and he's protected you through this realisation because it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy to really step into your truth and really own, own what's been going on. I feel that the need to grab another deck for you. And I feel like this almost is a romance reading, like a relationship reading. Um, and I feel like it's with whether it be a relationship you're in or one that has been in the past, but it feels like there's almost been a recent revelation, a recent um, forgiveness or, or some cords cut or, you know, some loose ends tied where you can almost start fresh, whether it be in this relationship again or in a relationship, another one. But I, I feel as though a lot of truth has been shared and admitted. Whether or not you've said this to someone else or it's just to yourself or you've just had an awakening and a realisation, um, it says, I let the universe catch up with my dreams. So it's like you've caught up and left parts of you in the past where they belong and you're not dragging it to relive it and to renew it anymore into your future. You know, it's interesting because when, like, I do a lot of Joe Dispenza work and when you read his testimonials on how people actually heal their own bodies, um, you know, from cancers and uh, vision and, oh, so many things, and I had my own personal journey of doing that a couple of years ago. The thing is, when you get your mind right, and you start visualising what you really want to create and you start, you know, having the energy that you've already got it, your body catches up. And it's really interesting because it's the same with this. You let the universe catch up with your dreams. So it's like you've been really good at visualising what you actually want to create. You've been really good at feeling like you already have it. So I know you've already been working on yourself. I know you've already been doing, you know, regular mindset, maybe meditations, maybe vision boards or, or whatever that looks like. I know you're doing this. And I really want to congratulate you. Like, I don't even want to say you've got to do it more. I mean, we all, you know, can be better, but I don't feel like this is that type of thing. This is more of an accolade, like more of a congratulations that you've been doing this because it really has made all the difference because when we do sort of Joe Dispenza work, you know, we get our body into this healing frame of mind and then our body catches up whereas this is like you've put yourself into your dream state you know what you want to create and now it's time for the universe to catch up because straight away when I got into your energy at the start of this reading I knew you had already done this and you can continue to do this it's never going to hurt but you've already done the work now it's time for you to sit back and watch what happens you've planted the seeds you've said how you feel You've forgiven the past. Now expect miracles. Like, that's what I want to say. Now expect miracles. Expect miracles. And don't go getting surprised by them. <laughs> because you've actually put all the work into motion. You've actually done all that work. And I tell you, it has been work. It has been work. It has not been easy, has it? So you've either 
lifted yourself up and walked out of a situation that no longer serves you. You've either um, realized your power and stepped into that. You've you've um, owned the part you've played in in situations that have got you here, and and it's not like you're reliving them. It's more so you're letting yourself feel them and releasing, releasing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's bloody beautiful. I love that. All right, let's get another message from Archangel Michael, the big gun, bloody legend. Love him. You know, a few weeks ago, my family and I, we went and stayed at this this place. It was quite haunted, actually. And it was Archangel Michael I called in because we ended up all sleeping in this huge king bed. We're in Ballarat in Victoria, which is, if you ask me, quite a haunted suburb. Um, a lot of heritage buildings and we stayed in this castle and we were all in like this massive king bed and as soon as I walked in there I could feel spirit um, and I was like yeah nah I'm not working I only call spirit when I'm working or if it's an emergency not all the time so we hopped in bed and I called the big guns and I'm like Archangel Michael let us sleep and you know what it was one of the best sleeps that I've ever had and it's really nice because when we work with our archangels or our angels or our spirit guides, our spiritual team, we call them in when we want them. They will not interrupt uh, unless we ask them to. And that's why I say it's mine only when I'm working or if it's an emergency because I don't want to not have them warm me in an emergency. So you've got this talent. You can use your spiritual team. You're really good at it because you're really powerful at creating your reality and what you've done up until now has been amazing. Um, and it's literally just making a decision. Decide to be happy now because where you're at now, you can pick and poke and prod at it all you like to try to make it different or to say I should have done this or I should have done that or all that type of thing or you can realize that where you are right now is an absolute creation of yourself you got yourself here and and you're allowed to celebrate the wins because the message here says thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness joy and bliss I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. This is a really beautiful reading for you. But you've got to decide that this is a blessed time. Like everything that got you here, Archangel Michael is saying, you've already done it. And the thing is, right, there is so many different, possibilities there's so many different parallel um universes so to speak all of the possibilities have already taken place what happens next they're done now it's up to you here to choose which road that you take because you've already done a shitload of work and you've planted the seed you've got a lot going for you here and you sit in this and realize you've done the work. And you realize that what happens next is your choice, believe it or not. You may feel as if it's not, but that is not your message today. It is literally something that is within your control. What happens next? I just want to pull one of these cards out. One of these, these are the animal cards, I think, just to finish off your reading. And the message is the peacock spirit. <laughs> Let it shine. You've done the hard work. Let yourself feel as though you have. Let the universe catch up to your dreams. Let yourself shine. And that, my darling, is your reading for Archangel number two. All right, Archangel number three. Now, I feel as though in this energy, I'm almost ready to fight. <laughs> I'm ready to attack. I'm ready to jump ahead. I'm ready to um, expect sometimes the worst case scenario, you know, be a little bit of someone who goes out of my way to catastrophize. Goes out of my way? That's like really making an effort to really spiral and this is an energy that I can feel as soon as I come into this 
reading. So let's see what Archangel Michael has to say about this for your message of protection. And it is, hmm, God is in charge. I'm going to read this to you. It says, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Have a look at that beautiful card. So, there's some habits that you're ready to release. There's some habits that you're ready to let go of. And Archangel Michael is saying, basically, let go and let God. And in that, you can start healing because up until now in this energy, I can feel there's been a little bit of the victim mentality, like, um, you know, this always happens to me. Uh, why me? It doesn't happen to anybody else. And, and that type of story playing in your mind and oh my camera sorry bumped it um and look we're all human we all go there from time to time but you really need to hear archangels michael's message that when we surrender and we don't have this fear that we're clinging on to we really let it flow and there's this desperation that I can feel in your energy right now that you're so desperate to not get it wrong or you're, or you're desperate to prove a point or you're desperate to, um, you know, get it right, that type of thing. And um, it, you're, you're safe just to simply be you. You're safe not to have to overanalyze everything that's happening around you or everything that needs to come out of your mouth or the fear of being judged or told that you're wrong. So whether this be at work or in a relationship or just something you're doing to yourself, know that Archangel Michael is bringing all your spiritual team around you to support you through this time because it isn't easy. And I almost feel as though you're keeping this to yourself. And they see you and they want you to know that they're giving you all the strength but allow yourself to receive it. So it's been hard for you to trust that people want to help you and not have anything in return. And it's been hard for you, excuse me, it's been hard for you to actually let people in. And it's a really nice time for you to be honest with how you're feeling. And sometimes you don't even know how you're actually feeling until you start voicing it. So maybe, you know, even looking in the mirror and talking to yourself, you probably feel crazy, but it will definitely help you along your healing journey because you're at a point now that, you know, here in the Southern Hemisphere, it's for a reason. Well, in Melbourne anyway. I went to Queensland last week, north, north and north, and it was bloody hell swimming in the beach. But here it's freezing. So the cold weather can really switch on a part of us that can spiral. And I feel like in this energy up until now, it's been a little bit um, negative in your mindset. Can't make this shit up. Same card. You really need to understand that when you surrender and trust the process, God is in charge. You can only play your part. And your part is the best you can. I almost feel, and you know I'm an EFT practitioner, reach out if you want to do some tapping. It really changed my world. You know, there might be some um, spiritual circles in your area that you might want to connect with like-minded people because the people in your world don't get you, don't understand you. You talk a little bit too hoo-ha, your head's in the clouds, blah, blah, blah. I get that. I get that a lot. <laughs> but I know that it's time that I trust. I know that it's time that I connect with like-minded people. I know that it's my journey and this is where I'm at. And I know that's you too. I know that you know, 
but I know you also don't have to waste your time trying to explain and convincing others around you who you are. You can just simply be and show them. I want to read this again to you. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. I do feel as though you feel at a loss. But if you didn't come to this reading today, what were you going to do? If you didn't hear those words that spirit sees you and spirit knows and that you've got a support team and they're egging you on to connect with like-minded people or, um, you know, maybe do some tapping. I've got other videos that lead you to tapping if you haven't already done it. And I'll link it to the end of this one so you can just click and go and have a look at some tapping potentially. But when we do get in that mindset and that, that mind frame of, you know, the worst case scenario and that type of thing, it can be very draining and, and it can be very hard to find joy. Um, and like I said, it's been quite cold. And when we get cold here in Melbourne specifically, we go internal and we can close down. We can shut shop almost. But reach out, reach out and verbalise how you're feeling. And if you want to do it into a mirror or whatever, do it. Do it. Say it. I like to write down how I'm feeling on a full moon and burn, burn the shit out. And this says, wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. So when we shift our perspective from there's not enough to, you know, actually wanting others to be better, to get more and all those type of things, it shifts our energy as well. It puts us into an energy of abundance. And abundance, of course, means there's enough for everyone, right? Because you're a very sensitive soul and you don't want to shut that off because other people don't understand it. You are allowed to be exactly who you are and what you are and you're allowed to speak your lingo. You're allowed to walk your walk. You're allowed to play your music and you're allowed to dance. You're allowed to feel. But if you feel as though you need a little bit of a kick up the bum, a little bit of a spark lit, then reach out. And you'll know who to reach out to. You might go, yeah, right, who to? You actually already know. You've already seen someone or something that you've already vibed with. You, you already know what's next. It's just a matter of doing it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. But there is an action that needs to be taken here because if you keep doing what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. <laughs> but um, I'll just give you another one card from Archangel Michael just to finish off. And we have pulled the God is in charge twice. And just to final message for you. Oh, okay, all right. I'll drop this one. Uh, fuck yeah. Seriously, you saw that, right? God is in charge. Three times I got this card for you. I cannot make this shit up. Let me read it one more time. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation. Let go of this situation because you're holding so tightly onto it. I was talking to someone the other day that was finding it really hard to forgive someone. So when you don't forgive someone or something, you give it a lot of freaking power. They're not even in their life anymore, but they're holding so tightly onto it. And when you hold onto something, you give it oxygen, you give it life. This is the third time I have to say this to you. Help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Set your intention for bigger and better things for other people because in that, you get the same. 
in that you get the same. You're a beautiful person. Let yourself be. And that, my darling, again, you cannot make this shit up. Is your reading for Archangel Michael number three. Now, do not forget to like, subscribe, and all that algorithm things. And know that I've got some awesome events coming up. If you are in Melbourne or Victoria or happy to travel, I've got a weekend retreat called Conscious Couples at the end of July. Only small numbers. Um... And it's a weekend of connection. If you're in a relationship and you feel that you want to, you know, get into a space of understanding communication and letting go of old stories and creating a new, fresh, abundant relationship, drop me a line. Me and other a few uh, facilitators will be guiding you through that. Um, I've also got a mediumship development course if you want to enhance your relationship with spirit and start receiving your messages. That's amazing. There's also an online intuition course that you can do at self pace. What else have I got coming up? Reiki. I teach Reiki, all the energy stuff. So where are you at? What is it that you want to tap into? What step do you want to take to get closer to your spirit, to use spirit, to help guide you? Let me know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all those algorithm things. Take care, beautiful people. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. Peace out.